Finding holes in your favorite clothes is frustrating, but when I found dozens at once, I had enough. So I decided to channel my inner engineer and research why this keeps happening to me. Turns out there is a multitude of reasons and most can be prevented. So stick until the end, this video is packed with tips to keep your clothes hole free. Let's get the bugs out of the way. I never suspected I could have a bug problem because I never saw moths in my closet. But that was my misconception. The actual damage is done by the larvae and while they are feasting on your clothes, mama moth may already be gone on vacation without the kids. My other misconception about fabric eating bugs was that I thought moths were the only offenders, but it turns out there's another guest most of us has at home that loves snacking on fabric. Silverfish. How to tell if you have moths or silverfish? Moths like to eat proteins, which is contained in wool and silk, while silverfish like to eat carbs, like me, which is contained in clothes, rayon and synthetic fabrics. But in time of food scarcity, Silverfish may eat wool and silk too, which is what happened in my case. I have a carton box open on the ground in my closet where I store all my winter sport clothes, including really good quality woolen pants. And since silverfish love paper, that was an invite to come and enjoy my winter collection. So here are some tips for bugs. If you suspect you have a bug problem, no panic, you can use an over-the-counter moth trap just to confirm if it's moths or not. In the meantime, you can use strong scents like essential oils, lavender, peppermint. Uh, you can also hang a scented bar of soap. All of them work to make those bugs think twice before entering your closet. Clothes and blankets that are not used in between seasons should be cleaned very well and placed in sealed containers or bags and they will act as a bug-proof fortress for your clothes. Don't do like I did, don't store your clothes in cardboard boxes, this way you'll avoid your clothes hanging out with the wrong crowd. Okay, this is the most common cause of holes. Just like a steady drip of water can carve a rock, repetitive rubbing of your clothes will slowly but surely cause wear and tear. Because while we are busy living our lives, the poor clothes can't seem to catch a break. They get snagged by belt buckles and are constantly rubbing against each other, not to mention the rough they endure inside the washing machine. So here are some tips starting with the wash. Zippers have teeth that in the washing machine can get caught with the other clothes. So zip up any zippers when loading. Brass also, those little metal hooks can cause damage to your other clothes by hooking them. So clasp them before throwing them in the washing machine and do yourself a favor and your wallet, put them in a laundry bag. All right, this is also important. The final spin in the washing machine does take its toll on clothes. If the speed is too high, the clothes will get pulled and stretched, which will weaken the fibers in the fabric and make them more prone to holes. So whenever you can, use the recommended speed of this uh, the recommended speed of the spin based on the types of fabric you're washing and in general opting for a shorter spin cycle is a good idea. Avoid washing delicate garments with heavy jeans or clothes with zippers and buttons because lace and silky fabrics can easily snag. If you can't avoid mixing them uh, with heavier clothes, then uh, protect delicate clothes by putting them in a mesh laundry bag, which is what I do. It's still like a roller coaster for your clothes, but with less cream. So in general, look at the washing machine uh, for clothes as the sun for our skin. The more we expose our skin to the sun, the faster it will age and get damaged. So try to minimize the washes to the minimum and follow the washing and drying instructions in the label of the garment to minimize damage on your clothes over time. All right, this is super common. If you're someone who swishes their legs together when they walk, your jeans are probably going to have 
holes or where wherever the legs touch at the high inner thigh level or ankle level there's a few things you can consider doing in this case reinforce the inside of the pants with a patch it can also be iron on so you don't need a sewing machine necessarily and uh, you can also wash your jeans a lot less and air dry them instead of using the dryer machine in general avoid the dryer you can get a drying rack to place outside or inside of the house the way you'll extend your clothes lifespan and say good bucks <laughs> someone who wears a belt every day may get holes on t-shirts worn over the belt to prevent this you can try going without a belt if possible or you can smooth out the rough edges of the belt with the sandpaper and you can also try adjusting the position of the belt in a way that it doesn't snug your t-shirt another way i managed to cause holes on my clothes was removing price tags i used to rush pulling the price tag because anything is more important than go get scissors and cut it out but then i ended up regretting and having to fix more holes i said chemicals cause holes too if they get in contact with fabric i personally don't work with chemicals and perhaps you neither but many of us have moved batteries of their cars which contains acids and what is misleading is that for acids the hole will not appear immediately but after a wash which makes it hard to link the two things bleach is also very acid and can also cause holes if it's used in too high quantities or if it's not diluted appropriately so as always follow the instructions on the product to minimize the chances of damage and if you do see holes in your clothes don't wait around as they say a stitch in time saves nine so check out this video linked here where i show you how to fix any types of holes in your clothes i am valentina and this channel is all about upcycling mending and reducing fashion waste thank you for watching and to the next time bye